Now we are going to actually head into the toolkit and see how we can animate them. So we're going to start by seeing how we can use the pre-made animation presets. So to, to add an animation preset, all we need to do is we need to make sure to have this pointer where we would like the animation to start. So I'm going to start it at the start here, then select the character animation suite in here and make sure that the character animation suite effect from here is selected as well. So this is a very important step. So and next we're going to go to the animal character animations in here that we have installed and let's see what we're going to do. So I'm going to first make it like fall, just double click. And if we now hit U on our keyboard, we can open the keyframes that we have created in here. And I'm going to go to the last frame in here. You can zoom in a little bit in here. And now we can add our next animation. So now I'm going to make it walk a little bit. So let's find an animation named walk. If we go down here, here is the walk. We have to first use the walk start. So make sure that it, that is selected. Go to walk start, double click and start our walk. Go to the last keyframe, go to walk loop. And you can keep adding walk loops in here to keep it walking how, how long you want basically. And then I'm going to go to walk and in here. Always make sure that the character animation suite is selected in here. And now with that walk end, it stops walking. And now one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make it go in a in a, an animal pose, like a carnivore pose on four legs, and then run like an animal, basically like a tiger. So this is a tiger, so we need to go to carnivore animations. If it was something like a sheep, for instance, we would use the herbivore animations instead. So let's go to carnivore animations and all the carnivore animations would be tagged as C and then the name of the animation, while the herbivore animations would be tagged as H and then the name of the animation. So I'm going to go to standing poses, since it is standing right now. And let's see. So we have this one C standing on legs to carnivore standing pose. So let's double click on that go in here now go to the last frame we can see it now on four legs and finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it run so let's go to carnivore running go to carnivore running start make sure that you are the end keyframe and that that is selected the character animation suite is selected double click on that go to the last keyframe create a loop let's make another loop and then we're going to make an end. As you can see, it's very, very fast to, to, to use this. I'm just now going to hit N on my keyboard in here just so I have the that area done. And if we scroll a little bit down in here, you can see what the template has done for us. It has all these keyframes, all this animation is done for us in, in just minutes in here. You simply need to double click and there you have it. Now that animation is done, so let's preview it. So hit zero on my keyboard to ram preview it. Let's see how this looks. So it's falling, then it walks a bit, then it goes down and then it starts running.